The White House was busy in 1964 and 65. During that time, the Civil Rights Act, Voting Rights Act, and the Higher Education Act were all signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson. He personally thought that the Higher Education Act was the most important thing that he did, because without education, all those other rights would be meaningless. But what does it do? And the basic compact is that the states would provide funding to the institutions and uh, the federal government would provide financial support for the students in the form of Pell Grants, what are now called Pell Grants, and student loans. I was actually part of the talent search when I was in high school. So it back, started back in 2007 when I started going to Gonzalez High School. The Higher Education Act also created programs like Educational Talent Search, Upward Bound, and Student Support Services. These programs play a really important role in the life of you know the first generation low income students because they give, they give us the tools necessary for us to succeed. I think to them I was able to graduate top of my class from Gonzalez High School. I was valedictorian of class of 2011, so you know, they really pushed me to excel in my academics. If I wouldn't have gone to college with Upward Bound, I wouldn't have ever taken that class. I wouldn't have ever made up my mind about being a teacher. I was a student in the program for five years, and then I worked for the program for another five years. I was attached to the program. College was always an option, and that was because I went to college every summer as a young student and these students really do need this program. So what do the next 50 years look like? The source of America's uh, preeminence uh, in the world all through the post-war era um, is the high educational level of our workforce and in fact we are now starting to lose that edge because other countries have figured out that that's what made America great and are emulating us. Uh, and so the world is not standing still and we need to continue to expand access to higher education and increase the number of our uh, young people that go to college.